What's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Let's get a tweet out real quick so we can get this stream underway. And I gotta tell you, man, I was pretty surprised when I saw a Torch uh, in the arena. Wait, what the heck is this? Twitter keeps popping up with some weird message, man. I don't, I don't even understand. Whatever. Anyway, dearest, you had Mama Champions. Uh, well, butter my biscuit and call me. Let's go with Clarence. Um, uh, is that Torch in the arena? Okay. Okay. What would I basically get to call me Clarence? Is that torch in the arena too? Wait. Alright. What's up, people? Hope you're all doing well. We got uh, Eric Nelson sending over a bug with the quickness. Oh, Craig. This would have been two days in a row. I am so sorry. <laughs> Eric Nelson, thank you, dude. Uh, just saying, slap me bananas. Done. Uh, end tweet as well. Okay. Let's see. The tweet is... We're going to start off this multi-tweet with probably one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. Poll chat for who they would have chosen, please. Okay, so... Out of your nexus, you got a nexus. Um... Mm, okay. Okay, okay. Who would you select in this nexus? Uh, Omega Sentinel. Uh, I bomb. R Rocket. Already duped. Should put new for the others. New. New. Polls live. Dang, dude. Uh, that's a crazy poll. Let's see here. Uh, and here is who I chose. Took like 30 minutes and multiple alliance mates given their opinion. But in my mind, rank 4 Nimrod does almost the same thing as Omega Sentinel. And I-Bomb has nuts damage potential. Uh, okay, okay. Well, it turns out, uh, FTO isn't done yet because apparently the back side of the sign doesn't have the same joke or just normal company stuff. But no, it's a whole other joke. Huh? I just met a microbiologist... It was much bigger than I expected. <sighs> My floor trader outlet. Boo! Why don't you go trade some floors or something, man? Stupid sign. Uh, Grats on the eye bomb, though, dude. Looks like the pole is going in the way of Omega Sentinel. Omega Sentinel cleaning house with over 60% of the vote. Rocket somehow almost almost in second. Uh, must be the potential of that buff really, really coming through. Okay. Um, well, all right then. Uh, give me one sec here, guys. All right. Uh, Eric Nelson, thank you very much. Craig Hardy. R.I.P. Dude, you were so close. You know it, just saying, so close. Thank you very much still, though. Uh, Hussein sent it over a Euro as well. Thank you, dude, Say, Let's see here. Missed, darn it. Hashtag Messiah for bot. Hashtag be cool like bride. Hey, man. You almost had it. You weren't that far off. The names, they look far apart, but there was a lot of chitter chatter. You were close. We're still close. Thank you very much, dude. The Sama Mama said it on five as well, saying, finally did it. Pulled six star Doom. Grats. The three plus year wait is over. Rank three already. It'll be my third rank four. Also, New Jersey stinks. Love you, bright guy. Sama Mama, thank you very much, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it. Grats on your Doom. Uh, grats on. Uh... Oh, that's going to be your Paragon Doom as well, saying he'll be your third rank four. There you go, dude. You pulled him just in time for him to get you over the finish line to Paragon, too. Nice, man. 
What's up, everyone? Back from my birthday getaway. Did anything cool happen? The show? Tons of cool stuff. Indescribably cool. So cool that legally we're all uh, uh, unable to actually share that information. So, sorry, you missed out. Bummer. Huge bummer. We were all like, oh man, where's, where's the show at? Um, all right, let's see here. I kind of just want to grab some more, uh, grab another revive or two. You know, you know, you gotta keep a steady supply. I'm gonna do a little energy dump. Grab one of those real quick. How much shield go for? Oh yes, we have to sort the cutoffs. Uh, we'll get that sorted in, uh, in just a minute here. As we're going through this. Uh, I do have the... Faces. Oh, we got an energy refill. God, I'm gonna have to pay attention on this one because we gotta snatch both of these. The energy refill is just a hair before the revive in terms of. Um, I always want to hit view before looking around. I forgot to hit view. We gotta. Uh, we gotta make sure to back out as soon as I grab that energy refill. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna miss out on the revive. Uh, there's several MCOC servers. Yes, the UMCOC one is one. Oh, Discord servers. Aha. Yeah, I'd recommend that one. Um, there... Yeah, there definitely are multiple servers, but... To my knowledge, that's the most active one. Uh, I don't really use Discord a whole lot. Um, there's like a... That's where all the info goes for the CCP people. That's pretty much the only one that I uh, ever use. Um, all right, we'll get cut off squared away. Let me let me be extra careful not to go too far in this path, though. So I'm just pulling up the cut off history. This is gonna be tough, man. Freaking torch in the arena. A lot of people have torch. He's been around for a while, but if the uh, the previous doom was anything to go by. Um, where is that fella at? Here we go. Doom. Doom still went, like, fairly high. Round one was, uh, unusually low, actually. But then round two. Oh, came back with a vengeance. Alright, let's back out. And let's restart it. I might miss out on five-star Quicksilver. Oh, uh, or, sorry, thought I might miss out on 5 star Quicksilver, but rank 453 with 49 million. Nice, man. Congrats on the silver one. Alright, here we go. Now we don't have to pay attention. What do you think about the Paragon deal? I don't know if I'm aware of a Paragon deal. Accelerate. We'll have to come back to that after we do cutoffs. Okay, so let's let's try to get these cutoffs squared away. Doom is a prestige champ, and Torch isn't. Very fair. That is very true. I also... I don't know. I think there's a bunch of good science champs, but... I feel like if unless you have the newest of the new science champs, then a lot of the older science champs... Eh, know how like they, you could they're playable they're totally playable but uh i don't know it feels like there's more options in the mystic class whereas torch he's just so dominant against the entire mystic class um people don't really need to pull torch for abyss anymore because abyss is essentially irrelevant um <laughs> you might as well just do act seven and act eight is essentially here so uh abyss is like abyss who who cares um, I want to do. Sh I want to get. I want to. I want to get Shield numbers first. Shield should be easier. We have good data from round one here. The 100th and 500th cutoff. Um, 71 mil, 29 mil. Uh, let's see. Who can we kind of compare that to? Let's see what like Voodoo went for in the in the basics here. I feel like scores, you know, may have gone up as a result of uh, just rosters expanding, people prepping for 
Um, you know, Battlegrounds or something. Here we go. Voodoo. Voodoo went for like 47 mil. Oh, maybe like 45 mil by the time the last seven trickled in there. I feel like that's probably fairly appropriate, like mid 40s for She-Hulk. Um, let me know if you guys disagree, and uh, maybe we'll make some adjustments here. But um, I'm gonna say like like 40. Let's go 46 mil, and um, say 12 mil for the five star as well. Um, I feel fairly satisfied with that number. It's never gonna be perfectly accurate. The arena, it's always a gamble. Blah, 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 you know. The the typical uh, arena spiel here. If you're going for a champ, go for them. Don't just try to barely sneak in there. Okay, uh, let's talk. Let's talk Torch, man. Let's talk Torch. So he, I mean, he is, he is, uh, is he banned, like, currently in Alliance War? I think he is, right? Like, just donezo. He's, he's so good in the battlegrounds, though. And we know battlegrounds are... They're basically here. Um, Torque. I love uh, the champion Torque. He's good. He's good champion. <laughs> What's up, Tipped? Uh, I think Torch is still going to go really high, man. Like, I, I don't know. I almost want to say Torch... No, Torch is not going to go as high as Doom Round 2, right? It is true that Doom is for Prestige as well, but... I don't know, man. I think he's going to go fairly high, at least. I don't know if we... I don't know if there is a champion that we can really compare to Torch. Just kind of get a general sense of the numbers. The trend of things here. Hmm. This is a doozy here, man. Probably like 85 to 90? Really? I was thinking a little over 100 myself. I don't know, man. I was thinking like 110 or something. There's still going to be a lot of people that don't have Torch. Isn't there? He doesn't need to be awakened though, so that that does factor in of like reducing his score. So maybe maybe it isn't crazy that he would go sub 100. Uh Man, maybe 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 like 95 is accurate actually. Uh, or even 90. Older doesn't need awakened. Yeah, he's older doesn't need to be awakened. Actually, yeah, he's he he predates uh, Doom, right? Because Torch came out earlier in that same year. Uh, was it 2018? Uh, no, it was 2019. Okay, so Doom came out in um, November. Torch. Yeah, so he he is even older than Doom as well. Okay, all right, I'm pretty I'm pretty sold on him going below, um, 100. I'm gonna I'm gonna say 95 though, man. I'm gonna go with 95. Is it a little bit high? Maybe even I, I don't know. Uh, and I'll say 31 for the five star version of the champion. Uh, let's go ahead and get this exported and on screen. Uh, we'll call it a day with that. You're gonna do the windows thing in three, two, one. Okay. And we have cutoffs. There we go. All right. Uh, Ste Alex said over Buck Static. Thank you very much. And okay, BG. New prediction. Just like six stars had adrenaline, seven stars or whatever it's going to be will have relic slots. Uh, and we will get them in Act 8. Potentially. Well, well, hold on. We have the Relic guy in here right now, tipped. Care to comment? <laughs> uh, probably not. Oh, there we go. Six star, rank five. You're welcome.
people are going to take that as fact. <laughs> I think you need to. I think you need to clarify. If uh, do I need to sign an NDA? Mm, how the ways to ensure discretion. What's a relic? At this point, no one should ever believe Tipped after he banned me. Perma banned me. However, there's still something about there's still something about uh, Tipped's comments here that make me want to believe. Think you need to catch up and chat PG? Why well, not? I'm trying, dude. I'm tr this has happened like five minutes ago. I'm trying my best. Oh man. All right. Anyway. That's not what permaband is. Well, it was permaband. It said permaband. It's just, it, it got reversed. So I still was permaband. Just not permanently. I mean, hey, if you could say, uh, what's it called? Permanent marker? It ain't permanent. But they still brand it that way, all right? So, uh, anyway, static. I. That's originally what I what I had envisioned for uh, relics when I was talking about them during the 12.0 days. I was thinking it'd be cool if they were exclusive to five stars. I think it does make some sense to have some, uh, you know, star rarity level tied to the ability to use relics. Um, because... Uh, one, you want to make it seem like, yeah, there is a difference in the in the star levels, right? We're not just literally running on a treadmill here, playing the exact same game over and over again, just with one more star. Uh, and then two, new players, it's gonna be it's gonna be overwhelming. Uh, it's 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 gonna be overwhelming. Um. It'll be overwhelming to players that are returning to the game and they're already reading, you know, champion abilities that are uh, more intricate than when they left. It's going to be overwhelming to players that are brand new to the game. Um, there's a... MCOC is a complicated game, man. Uh, it's simple and complicated all at the same time. Most good games usually work that way. Uh, but it's kind of good to keep that you know, more geared towards the uh, end game players, in my opinion. We'll see, though. King of Arenas, thank you very much for the Looney Sage check. Twitter, please. King of Arenas. What do we got here? Monthly progress of rank ups. Well, let's see how this is going. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Looks like three new six star champions for the month, one new rank four. You doubled your rank fours! Oh, man. You just went up by one on all three of these categories here. Okay, okay. Any uh, big changes? Looks like just steady progress to me. The three stars, keeping them all maxed out. That's good. Same thing with all the lower stuff. Okay, okay. I like the progress. Keep it going. Simon said it over a hundred yen. Simon, please tell me this isn't a video. No vid, BG. Thank you. Uh, but soon, I promise. No thank you. Anyway, could you check Twitter, please? I open a new crystal. What is why in quotes? Let's see. What is this? Uh, also, I forgot. I'm in the arena. I can't actually just auto fight now. And my game's frozen. There we go. All right. Uh, what is this? I give you the no hope crystal. Oh, wow. Listen, some people would find these champions to be very effective. All right. So... I uh, man, I can't wait until one of those champs gets buffed. You know, once upon a time, people were saying that uh, the Cyclops is not going to be buffed because of Karina's challenge, and then it's going to potentially, you know, make that uh, you know volume one of Karina's challenges more more. Um, well, if they had better grammar, they wouldn't say more more easier. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be easier. Um, however. I think that's a good thing. I, at this point, I would intentionally try to buff the champions for Karina's one to make people interested in doing Karina's one. Um, there, Karina's one is is quickly being outdated in terms of rewards um, for the effort required to get them. You know, at this point, 
Like, like how many more months do you guys think we have before the side quest for the month gives out better rewards than Karina's one does? <laughs> you know, um, we can't be that far off. So uh, I would, I would be maybe pushing to buff some of the champions for Karina's one, and just let people have a, a good time, maybe as like a warm up, getting into Karina's two or something. I don't know. Zurafa, thank you very much for the Looney Zane BG with BGs officially coming and my PC finally built. I really want to start streaming. You should, man. Give it a go. Uh, any advice you can give on getting started? Any recommend recommended software slash hardware I should get or need? Okay, so first piece of advice is try it. Don't commit super hard, though. You know, uh, you should definitely give it a go and see if you like it. But of course, not everything is for everyone. So if you try it and you're like, oh, you know what? Actually, I just prefer to, you know, to play uh, by myself. Don't overcommit, um, but at least commit to, uh, to trying it out and see how, see how you like it. Uh, so that's tip number one. Tip number two, this is before we get into software or hardware stuff. Tip number two is everybody sucks when they first start out, okay? And it's not going to matter because no one's watching anyway. You know, you're starting out with zero subscribers or maybe you can uh, rope in a few of your alliance mates and there'll be, you know, some some subscribers or something like that. But the point is, there's going to be so few people watching that um, y you can make mistakes and it's, it's not going to matter, you know. Um, so try not to be too in your head about like, oh, God, I, this doesn't look amazing. Or maybe the audio quality is not, you know, as good as you want it to be. Just who cares? Just try it out, and um, you can you can kind of fix all that stuff and learn as you go. All right. So don't worry about being perfect when you start, because no one is watching. Um, and by the time you start to figure things out, well, then people will start. You know, they'll they'll uh, you will have some subscribers. Okay. As far as like software and hardware goes, um, software OBS. It's really the only. Um, software you need. Um, hardware wise, uh, I mean, I use a capture card. There's a couple different ways to go about it. You could use, you basically have to connect your phone to your PC in some way. Technically, you could stream just from your phone, but I don't recommend it. Um, especially you just built that nice new PC, right? Might as well put it to use. So you need to figure out some way to connect your phone to your PC. Um, OBS will take care of taking whatever images on your PC and throwing it out there to the world. Um, you could either connect your phone to your PC via Wi-Fi. There's some, um, uh, you know, programs for that. Or you can get a capture card. Capture card is what I use. It's, um, it's always going to be a little bit higher quality having something, uh, you know, hard, hardwired into your PC versus... Uh, you know, over the, the internet waves. Um, but yeah, you, you might not even want to commit to doing that. If you have a, if you have a pretty strong and stable connection, you know, I, 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 I was streaming over Wi-Fi for, I don't know, a year or something like that before I switched. Maybe it was longer than that. It wasn't until I moved to Washington and my internet connection wasn't as strong that, um, I had to get a capture card. It can be a little expensive. They, you know, 100, 150 bucks, something like that. So it's a lot to commit to right away. Uh, and then you just have to decide if you also want a, uh, you know, a microphone and uh, a face cam and all that stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. If you have more specific tips as you go, let me know. I'll try my best to answer. However, um, there's going to be times where I just tell you to find a YouTube video on it because that stuff is going to be the, the easiest way to learn how to set everything up. Hope some of those tips help. Good luck. Steatic sent it over another bug. Thank you, dude, saying, uh, I'm just waiting for them to change the objectives for Karina's one. I refuse to do some of those challenges. I'd rather just have them uh, charge me 5k units and uh, send me to rewards and save me the time. Well, hey, they're doing that. Oh, speaking of, there's a Paragon offer, uh, Accelerate, had said, we never, I, I gotta look at that. 
Thank you for somehow reminding me. Um, but yeah, they basically do that all the time. They 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 will gladly <laughs> send you to a uh, a, a, collect, a reward collection screen for the low low price of nineteen ninety nine or in some cases ninety nine ninety nine or in some cases like uh, the upcoming Cyber Weekend, three easy payments of $99.99. Uh, Alright, let's 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 figure out what this offer is, man. It wasn't on the home screen, was it? Oh, this is on the home screen, though. We gotta claim this. Get that free crystal. There we go. Uh, and let's go ahead and find the offer... Is it this? I don't know what the Paragon offer is necessarily. The Mythic Making Me Angry bundle. Uh oh, wait, is it Well no, these are just Thronebreaker, right? Uh I might need some help finding what the offer is. It was at the beginning? Oh god. Oh, uh, okay. I always skip over the cards. That's why. Okay. Uh, yeah. New month. New card, I guess. Huh? That's how that works. Okay. Got it. Whoops. Uh, Itachi Natsu, thank you very much for the two. Hopefully, I didn't mess up your name too much. Thank you. Uh, saying what's going on, Banana Man. See Sweetest Stun video? Uh, I did not. Uh, I haven't checked out any MCOC videos today. Uh, what's that all about? Sounds interesting. Maybe a, a certain stun lock of sorts, perhaps? Um, but no, I haven't seen it. Uh, Sweet, Sweet is always doing some, uh, some neat stuff, so I'm sure it's pretty cool, pretty intriguing. Thank you very much for the two, though, dude. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, world record for longest stun. I'm guessing that's without nodes, because... Or without, like, you know, Ronin cheese or something like that. Um, Alright, let me see here. You must log in every day to redeem the full value of, uh, of a subscription card. Okay, anyway. So you get 10 Cav Nexus. I'm looking at the right now stuff first, at the bottom. 10 Cav Nexus crystals. Uh, 1,500 six-star shards. Your little sign-on bonus. Oh, these are... This, wait, were the cards always 60 bucks? Do they... They must change prices, I guess, huh? Probably not always a, a static amount of money. Um, is that is that some inflation going on there? Because I feel like this would normally be like 50 bucks. Anyway, let's see. Uh, what do you get? Tier 6 basic fragments. How many do you get? You get one whole catalyst worth, huh? Same thing for the, for the tier 3 alpha? Okay. You get one of each of those guys. Okay. Uh, at this point, um, I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't even seem too crazy at this point. Um, this, you know, these, these resources, they're, they're still pretty rare, but doesn't even seem too crazy, uh, of an offer. Um, I don't know if I have much for thoughts. I get, I mean, honestly, the first thing I think of when I see these offers I'll, I'll take you to where I think of. Some of you can probably guess right now where I'm going. Oh, look at that. The season 3, season uh, whatever kicked off. Um, I think of this. And I think even if you are the number one alliance... Put in blood, sweat, and tears many hours of your day if you're the officers planning out, uh, you know, every, all that good stuff. And um, you get less. Sad times. Sad, sad times. Uh, you know, top 10 doesn't even come close. Um, top 20, still, still called the master bracket. Oh, so sad. So, so sad. So, uh, yeah. That's, 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 I guess, my thoughts. In terms of, like, how this compares to, I don't know, other things going on in the game, though. Doesn't seem too wild, necessarily. We, ha we got Cyber Weekend coming up real soon, and I'm sure, 
Uh, we're going to see some, some fireworks there, perhaps. I don't know. What are these? Incursion rewards? <sighs> it might as well be. The incursion rewards. You know what we could use for the incursion rewards now that you're in here, Tipped? Or since you're in here. Uh, <laughs> rewards for ants, yeah. We could, we could, uh, maybe this is coming in an update already. This is maybe already being planned. I, I don't know. Um, but we could really use some six-star incursion crystals, you know? That'd be neat. I'd like to see that. I feel like a lot of people would. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get back to the arena. You're saying you haven't already watched my extremely generic crystal opening video, but I tweeted at you. Happy Doe, did you... Did you post a video today? Did you tweet at me today? I've been off the grid today, man. Uh, Thursdays... Thursdays are... Um, I, I basically know nothing going on, typically, uh, in the online world. Thursdays are my busy days, man. Um, I can't even find the, the tweet you're talking about. Anyway... Cool that you uploaded a video, Abby Dell. Hmm, says Tipped. <laughs> I brought that up as soon as I was Dave. Oh, did you? Did you easy? Whoops, maybe you guys were already talking about it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but it was like an hour ago. Oh, okay. Gee, should I wake in Fury or wait for Valkyrie from next featured for Prestige? Ah, uh, if Prestige matters that much to you then you gotta wait if prestige is if your alliance is not like you know pushing to get in the next higher reward bracket or trying to you know maybe you're on the cusp of uh either going up or down um and you're trying to prevent from going down or something like that then you gotta wait you gotta play the prestige game otherwise um i would say don't wait number one you don't know if you're going to pull the champ. Number two, Prestige is not the end-all be-all, especially uh, with Battlegrounds coming and Fury being so good for it. Um, as far as, like, how good Valkyrie is or bad, I actually have no clue because I haven't played Valkyrie yet. Um, I don't hear many people talk about Valkyrie. Um, if I had to guess, this is pure speculation, and I would love for you guys to tell me uh, the actual truth here because this is... You know, again, this is me very lacking in, uh, in knowledge. Um, I, if I had to speculate, though, I would say I watched Valkyrie's deep dive and saw that she was the type of champion that hits into the opponent's block to deal damage, similar to Massacre, it seemed. I don't know. And um, those champs, I don't know how fun they are, man. I, at least I don't really enjoy trying to hit into the opponent's block. Uh, uh, unless it's like very specific things and maybe smaller portions of the fight um so like apox a great example of um you know you're you're you you get to hit into the opponent's block um and you're kind of rewarded for it but it, his gameplay is not reliant upon it um she's also very new and i gotta keep that in mind too i might not be hearing a lot about valkyrie just because she's so damn new who who, who the hell has a Valkyrie? So few people do. So maybe she's a beast. Maybe everyone wants to get her. Maybe everyone wants to play her. And um, just can't because she's new. Uh, Dylan saying, I think she's very underrated. Okay. At 15.4k, we're pushing for top 90. And I maybe move into a higher tier. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I would wait then, man. I would wait. Um, here's here's the thing about waiting too. I, I I mean that that gem's not going anywhere. If when we see the battleground rewards come out and you're like, oh god, I don't want to wait anymore. Okay, well don't you know feed that gem to Fury at that moment in time. But if you don't have an exact need for Fury right at this moment, you'll be okay without him. So. BG, who should my next rank 4 be? I want to focus on BG slash defense for the next champ. I have all content 100%. I'm thinking one of Maw slash Penny slash Fury slash Domino slash Void. But open to more options. I really feel like Fury is, is, is very strong for Battlegrounds. Maw? You know, Maw is, is, is strong. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like the, the smaller health pools... 
actually make Maw a little bit easier to fight through. Penny, I think, is a beast, and I, I don't know. I, 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 as great as Penny is, I would say leave her at rank three for the time being. Uh, that's my thoughts. If someone can counter Penny, they're they're gonna counter Penny. If they can't, then rank three is good enough. I guess that's the reason why. Um, Domino is a, a, a super annoying defender, but. I don't know, I think Fury is just a little bit better, and Void, I would say, I don't know how much trouble Void's really going to pose. I think what makes Void a difficult defender are complicated nodes, um, at least at the higher levels, which if you're, you know, taking your champs to rank 4 and stuff like that, you may be facing more experienced players who, they're not going to get tripped up by a fairly standard Void fight. I say fairly standard because, of course, there's going to be nodes in Battlegrounds, but... They're typically not the complicated types of nodes that would make Void, um, you know, difficult to handle. So, Fury. I would I would recommend Fury, personally. Valk has that unique playstyle, like Quake can definitely charge heavy. She hits into a block. Uh, wait, what? That message confused me a little bit. Are you saying that that's her unique thing or are you saying she too has an infinite heavy charge something or other uh, Omega Sentinel does read like she needs her awakening but I don't have one it did, I, I was thinking it didn't but um, I I also don't have Omega Sentinel so I can't really say uh, accelerate thank you very much for the loony appreciate it man let's see what your message is it would be interesting to see you in the BG tournament hosted by Vega. Uh, Accelerate, I hate to say it. I've already talked to Vega. He will not let me in. Um, I'm trying my best to get... <laughs> I'm sorry. I should, I, I should, not, I should not continue with that. Uh, bad joke. Bad joke. Uh, no, Vega invited me. Vega invited me in the tournament. Um, but I will not be participating. Uh... I shouldn't joke. Vega is very nice, and uh, of course, if uh, if I wanted to be in, he uh, he he said if I changed my mind or anything like that, that uh, I could join any time or whatever. But yeah, I will not be participating. The reality is, um, I don't have a roster to participate in tournaments, so my participation in tournaments will have to be from a commentary uh, perspective. That's all I could do. Uh, that's all I could do, man. Uh, my the, the fights that I would have against the other competitors, it, like, they, they literally wouldn't be a competitive match uh, with me in there. And I'm not using that as to, to say, like, oh, because I'm so big and tough. No, it's the opposite. Definitely the opposite. <laughs> So, yeah. BG, are you uh, asocial? Is that what you're asking? Oh, dude, I don't even know what that means. I'm sorry. My my knowledge of words not that strong. I'm a-literate. Uh, <laughs> um, is that like anti-social? Uh, <laughs> I'm not the most social person, if that, if that answers your question in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but I try to be a little bit more because, I don't know, it's good to be. BG, new hate list, number one, stealthy, number two, tier list, number three, Vega. No, man. Please don't joke about that. Don't don't turn that into a thing like it was with Seton. We did, we ended the hate. We ended all hate. Even stealth, Sp I'm not stealth, buddy. I still hate stealth, buddy. But everything else, even tier lists. I no longer hate tier lists. That's what got me in trouble in the first place. Seed had a tier list. People kept asking me to make tier lists, and I'm like, I don't like tier lists. Oh, man, so you must hate Seed then. For years. Um, you have the roster to participate the same as I have the skill to participate. We both can do it. We'll just lose a lot. Uh, Abby Doe, no, you make a good point. Maybe, uh... 
Maybe we should both enter said tournament. <laughs> it got me good. Let's well, get tipped. Uh, Roger sent it over a buck. Roger, thank you very much. Saying, hey, BG, I doubted myself, but then I. Uh, is that supposed to be became Thronebreaker? Wait, then I then I because throw break. I'm I'm down on myself now to do uh, variants in Act Seven, dude. Uh, if you if you got throw breaker, if you beat the Grand Master, which I know you did, Act Seven is easier. May I? I, well, I don't know. I, I maybe I shouldn't. Oh God, what was that? I tried to go in for another attack before that special. It just did not register at all okay nice um what's i gonna say though uh yeah for a lot of people act seven is maybe i shouldn't even say easier because you know there's still like uh, it's just still challenging those fights um especially if you're coming from like a nerfed act six you're gonna find the fights challenging and stuff but it's a bit more accessible i'd say the the paths they're a little bit more organized in a you know, in a, I don't know, it's it's a little bit easier to, to kind of break down what you need to get done for each path. Uh, what I'm saying is make it sense. Uh, so I would just go for it, man. I would go for Act 7. Maybe I should join this tournament? Tipped! People would love that, man. People always want to see... Uh, uh, okay, bam, more tournaments. Uh, I think it was great when John and... Uh, Oh, Zen. I remember their actual name. And I forgot their uh, their Kabam name. Uh, when John and Zen did the um, the incursions tourney. And they came in second. They almost won the whole damn thing. I think they came in second, right? They almost won the whole damn thing. I think, if I remember correctly, I, I think um, they got into the finals against... I think it was against Yeet and Hector. And... Um, Ye and Hector played me and Legacy to get into the finals. And we both had crazy runs, but they just barely beat us or something like that. That was a really good tournament, man. Um, that was that was actually great. That was There's been a few incursion tourneys. They they went to like a sabotage format or you know, it was other there was a bunch of formats for them. But uh, I feel like that was the, the coolest one. And part of it was because Kabam was involved. That's cool. Um, all right, Jared Shield, thank you very much for the 222. Same protein, banana milk, nest quick. Hmm, okay. Some protein, banana milk, nest quick. That sounds like a. My condolences to your uh, toilet afterwards. Uh. <laughs> now, Jared Shield, dude, thank you very much for the 222. Enjoy your protein banana milk desk quick. Thank you, man. The more people bring attention to BG, the better they will be and get. And I would love to see all the best streamers play regardless of roster size or skill. We can be up tipped, so we'll be fun to watch. Um, yeah. Hold on, the more... Okay, all right, that confused me because you're when you said BG, you're talking Battlegrounds, right? Because um, I was like, oh man, what kind of attention? Do I want this attention? <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I yeah, I agree, dude. I, I really hope, like, Battlegrounds? I think they're amazing, man. I think it's, I, I think the, the concept, at least, is, you know... Like there's, it's it's still it's still new, right? I guess what I'm getting at is it's it's a great mode. There might still be some kinks that need to be worked out. Like I don't know if they've squashed all the uh, all the bugs or not. Um, hopefully they have, but if not, you know, we'll get them in time, I'm sure. But either way, um, I think the mode is great. I think it's going to like revitalize interest in players that may have started to you know get tired of the the same old same old in mcoc you know i don't want to say revitalize mcoc as a whole because i feel like as a whole the game's doing great it's just you know 
a lot of players have been playing this game for years. And it is going to keep the interest levels high for at least the competitive players. Now, the only thing is, you know, not every player is competitive. So, of course, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that just don't have much interest um, in Battlegrounds. So hopefully there's, uh, you know, still the content for them to enjoy for years to come. But for the competitive players, like, this is it. You, like, you don't really need anything more <laughs> to make people happy. It's just like a good PvP mode uh, with, like, giving purpose to the champions they collect and all that stuff. Um, I think it's going to be great for MCOC. And, yeah, it's just a matter of, like, how many people take to it. Um, sky's the limit sort of situation. Uh, J-Dog Game Insider over 2. Thank you very much saying tweet, tweet. Alright, alright. Um, let's see here. What can I find? Oh, let's all scroll down looking for Abby Doe's tweet. Mm. Here we go. Found it. What do we got here? I think I've got the roster to start Act 7. I'm telling you, I don't even need to look at these pictures. If you've made it to Act 7, the answer is yes. If you've if you've beat the, the Grandmaster and the lead up to the Grandmaster, the answer is a resounding yes. Well, let's take a look anyway. Uh, you've got Doom. You've got APOC. CGR. Yeah, you're good to go. Uh, you're absolutely good to go. Yeah, you got yourself that six-star torch there as well. I see the big Claire up here. Magneto's going to handle every single metal boss. You got Ghost. You're good to go, man. Give it a shot. I think you'll find it, uh, like I said, potentially more enjoyable than Act 6. At least that's how a lot of people felt about the content, so... Send it, baby. Uh, easy. Send over Buck as well. Also for a tweet check. Well, let's see here. Do we have? I think there's two tweets from you. Let's see. Dude, I decided to get that Paragon Daily card for the shards for my Dragon Stash for Iron Doom. The Dragon Stash. Uh, and look who's in the Cav Nexuses. A couple of. Uh, wait, what? I thought it was just going to be two Cav Nexuses, one a six star, one a five star. What is this? What do you mean? Tipped. Get the hammer out, dude. Someone needs a bannon. What is this? How did you pull through? Okay. Wait, which? Let's start here. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming you took new Korg. I mean, I'm assuming you took New Hyperion. However, some people really like iHulk, so maybe I shouldn't assume on that one. But, damn. <laughs> okay, well, he definitely took Korg. I see that now. Oh, the Burned Awakening gem on Fury here. Could have got the dupe right here, right now. I don't know how long ago that was, but... Um... Wow, what do you do in this situation? I'll tell you what I do. I think I take... Oh, man. No, that's tough. I don't know. <sighs> Wasn't there, like, a rumor of this guy getting buffed? Or was that a different champion? I don't even know. Korg. I actually don't think Korg's Awakened ability is that important. But maybe the first... Maybe the... Oh, may, man. Maybe just giving them silver stars makes Korg important. Because then it tells people you have to play around his mechanic... Because you don't know what SIG level he is. Even if he was SIG level 1 and you barely take any reflected damage. He could be SIG 200 and you don't want to deal with it. So you have to play around his ability. So that could actually be really important. Uh, and then Fury. Fury was my first instinct actually. Just because I do think his Awaken ability uh, being at a high level can win you Battlegrounds man. Him just slowing the opponent down instead of chewing through his second life you know, super quickly. Uh, if the opponent still has to do most of the work to get through that second life, that's just time being added to the clock. 
every sig level that you have on fury directly will add time to the clock of the match unless they have a way to play through his second life um you know if you're using like uh penny or something uh hate fighting korg did you uh, is that what you went for Oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize there was going to be another picture here. Okay, so double Korg and hype. Okay, okay, fair enough. That'd be a really tough one on the on the final pick for me. The other ones, um, they'd be pretty snap picks, I would say. That final one, I would be sitting there thinking on it for a good few minutes at least. But um, fair enough. I, I I think I think the Korg pick is good. You can go either way on that one, Korg or Fury, and it's hard to pass up a first time awakening. You know, the difference between SIG 19 and 39, probably not that big. Not until you get to, like, you know, the difference between SIG 19 and SIG 200. Um, and that can come through some SIG stones later or something. Three months is enough time to organize a meetup, right? Think December is a bad month with too much going on already? Abby Dell. Yeah, I think December would be a terrible month. Um, I don't even know if I could attend the meetup in December. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah ah man i think i think like springtime is when you gotta do it i don't know though man you thinking about organizing a meetup baby do because i know you're not about to volunteer me to us to to organize a meetup in the next few months hell no that's not happening uh, doing a late September meetup that's smaller and then a Memorial Day meetup, maybe. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Abby Dell, our meetup spot is closed too, isn't it? I still feel bad. I, I feel like I, I sunk Gameworks. I single handedly sunk them. They kept emailing me, like, hey, did you guys, you know, do you want to. It's been a little while since you guys... Do you want to organize another meetup? We can accommodate. And, um... It's like, nah. <laughs> not right now. Uh, definitely in the future, but not right now. And, um... Well, now they're out of business. So... <sighs> rest in peaks. Uh, peaks? Did I just say rest in peaks? That's right. I said rest in peaks because they went out on top. Damn it. Hey, buddy, super quick tweet for you when you get a sec. Oh, he put a cow emoji in there. I feel like we have some Rintra gameplay coming. Mike, what do we got here? Rich get richer, path eight alliance war. Is this cow about to be rich? Uh, well, Venom has the buffs right now. Do you just... Oh. Were you ever going to bother baiting out that special? Oh. I've got to play this champion, man. Rintrop feels like he's right up my alley. The more I look at him, the more the gameplay that I see. He's a brawler style mystic. That just... He's got a flower. He's a cow with a flower growing flowers out of the ground. Okay. Damn. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, man, Panama Peters and I had talked about organizing things for Vancouver before, right? Yeah. Um, it's been so long, I forget. But we can easily carpool and get a nice Airbnb. Lags can fly down for 60 bucks. Wait, 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 we're talking Vancouver here now? Or are we talking uh, Seattle still? Carpool? Dude, I was going to just, just take a train up there. We could train pool. I want to do that. A couple other places. Is that place cool? Uh, oh, talking to someone else. Okay, okay. All right, uh, Esmir, thank you very much for the five, saying rest in peaks. 
went out on top? You just told a dad joke. Take lap. Listen, it was unintentional. I had to save it some way, okay? I had to make it sound like it made sense. It wasn't a dad joke. It's what happened. You're gonna make me take a lap on a place closing doors, closing their business? You know how difficult it is to for downtown Seattle to keep a, a place open that was that large? That welcoming of, of a gaming community? A gaming community that had to go online during COVID times? You're gonna make me take a lap. Fine, I'll take the lap. Thank you for the five. Easy, said number five as well, saying, can I get a poll? How good is hype in BG's opinion one? Definite spot in any deck. Um, or, <laughs> I really can't read today, man. That's option one, not opinion one. Uh, <laughs> God, all right, fine. Let me just write this out. What the hell's wrong with me, dude? All right, um, it's been a long day, guys. <laughs> That's all I could say. It's my only excuse. All right, let me see here. Uh, how good is hype in BGs? Um, one definite spot in any deck. Two decent option for certain decks. Okay, the poll is live. Get your votes in, people. King of Arena said it over a few loonies saying, Come to Vancouver, my city, I'll meet up. Well, there we go. Abby Doe, you got your first RSVP right there, man. When are you hosting it? You can't, Abby Doe, you can't back out now, by the way. Now that you got someone already coming. That'd just be rude. Train service did just restart. Costs like $40 and takes five hours. So cheaper and quicker by car. Uh, we could play MCOC on the train, though. <laughs> no, I don't know. All right, fair enough. I don't know. We'll get there some way, somehow, I guess. You got to worry about parking and stuff like that. I'm guessing Vancouver is a lot like any major city where it's got good um, uh, inner city transportation and all that stuff, right? I, I really do. I guess Seattle doesn't. Seattle doesn't really have the best. I guess now that I think about it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too used to New York, where like uh, you guys still gotta do a lot of walking, but you also had a lot of options. I don't know. Vancouver, uh, did I just say Vancouver? Vancouver has great public transit. Okay. Okay. That's true. There is uh, parking necessary, but then we can drive. Otherwise, all mass transit or Ubers. Ubers do get expensive pretty quick. Then again, splitting an Uber is not. Bro, this poll? Oh, yeah. Let's check on this poll. Let's see here. It's nearly 50-50. We got zero information from this poll. Um, I would go with the popular vote. It's 47% definite spot on any deck, 53% for decent option for certain decks. I would personally go with the 53%. Um, and, and yeah, I don't think he's an auto include. There is, there's a few, there's a, there's a few nodes that we faced where Hyperion wasn't all that great for, um... Masochism? I think masochism is bad for him offensively and defensively, right? What other nodes did I try him for that he ended up not really working that well on? There was like... There was at least two variations, but there might have been three. Uh, and I don't want to say incorrectly now, so... Yeah, I, I, either way, point is I don't consider him an auto-include. I do think he's strong. I do think, here. here's what I, I mean. I think if he's one of your top 30, like if you don't have more than one variation, then sure, he's an auto-include auto include in that situation. 
which is going to be a, um, a lot of players' situation because Hyperion's a great champion to rank up for a variety of content. And especially while Battlegrounds are new, you're not going to have your most wanted 30 Battleground champions to fit into a deck. And um, he's an auto-include for the, the everyday average MCOC player. Whereas if you just got to hand select 30 champions, if your roster was, um, you know, completely stacked, nearly every six star champ in the game sort of situation, um, I probably wouldn't pick him. You think hype is worth a generic? For me, someone who is Paragon has most champs to do any content, etc. No, right now is my answer. You don't need him today. Save that Awakening Gem. If there's a challenge that comes along, and you're like, oh, Hyperion would be sick for this. Okay, awaken him then. Because otherwise, no. No. Hercules exists, right? The reality is, um, you may not use Hyperion that much because Hercules exists. So wait and see for Battlegrounds. If you notice yourself like losing matches to Hyperions or something like that, or there's just some new challenge that comes out, then, you know, feed the gem then. Can you read it? Said it over two or three of them loonies. Thank you very much. Saying I'll play arenas during the meet, or but I'll play arenas during the meetup. Hey man, that's fine. <laughs> um, you'll have like your game in one hand, a, a beer in the other, or something like that. Hey man, no one's gonna stop you from playing arena at the meetup. <laughs> the king's got to grind. I found hype mostly got smoked on D because of how many mystic options people have. That's true, too. Uh, and he also wasn't the fastest on O for me. Maybe that's just because I've always sucked with him, though. He, I, I, it depends on the notes. It depends on the matchup. I, Hyperion obviously can finish fights very quickly. However, he's reliant on getting off heavy attacks. He's reliant on the buffs that you would get actually sticking, especially when there's some RNG where I think it's what, only a 40% chance per hit to gain a Fury? Let's go take a look. Uh, and then you're relying on a node not nullifying that buff off of you. Um, there's a lot of factors to it, man. And yeah, Mystic Champions, when they're on defense, of course you're not going to want to use Hyperion against them. In most situations, because you're just going to fuel their Mystic Dispersion like crazy. Um, Hyperion. 40% chance to gain a Fury buff. Okay. Man, Hyperion can do a lot. But his description... Oh, I was about to say his description is not that long. But then we get down to these charges. And it does get kind of long, I guess. Still not as long as today's champs on average, but... Yeah, he had some details to him. Uh, Job button, thank you very much for the buck and the banana saying, Yo, BG, does Scorpion need Awakening? And what do you like about him and don't like about him? John, off the top of my head, the only thing I don't like about him is that I don't have him. Um, I actually don't remember, though. I, I tested the champion, and I'm sure I gave a little wrap-up in the test video that I did. But that was... Um... Yeah, that, that was nearly uh, half a year ago at this point, almost. So, I, I yeah, I don't, don't even uh, remember all the details of, like, what I like and don't like about him. As far as Awaken ability goes, while the opponent is inflicted with Taunt, Scorpion can block unblockable special attacks. Typically, this is not as useful as it may sound. Um, Scorpion Sense is consumed when the, but wait. Okay, never mind. All right. Scorpion Sense is consumed when the special attack is finished. Its ability does not trigger against skill champions. Uh, and then if the opponent is inflicted with Petrify and they attempt to heal Scorpion gains... Oh, that's right. Uh, you gain the, the health that was denied from them. Each tick of the ceiling cannot exceed this much health. No, I would say he doesn't need to be awakened. Someone can correct me if um, they think otherwise about Scorpion. But uh, in my opinion, I don't think he needs to be awakened. 
Um, I, I really couldn't tell you all the things that... The, the details about what I liked and didn't like. All I can tell you is that... Uh, I do remember having fun testing the champ. I do remember thinking he was one of the cooler champs that were released this year, which is saying a lot because I actually think this year might just be the best year for, for champion releases potentially ever, where it feels like the, you, you know, a lot of the champ, like, on average, there's a higher percentage of champions being really useful and, like, really... Highly sought after, whereas the typical year, I feel like, ah, oh, there's a few, and then there's some others that you want for, you know, they're maybe, maybe you knew of them from a comic or a movie and you wanted them because of that. But it feels like this year, there's just been a, um, a lot of really useful champions. Um, some of them in, in maybe not like, you know, they're not the next Hercules or something like that. Maybe it's a little bit more fine details of countering a, uh, a specific interaction for Alliance War. Um, now that I'm looking at the list, though, I am seeing if... Maybe it's just because of Battlegrounds. The more I think about it. Because I look at a champ like, like you know, Sauron, and I'm like, this champion blows. <laughs> but in Battlegrounds, he could be a nuisance, uh, potentially. Um, mm, let's look at 2021. I mean, this year had some some heavy hitters in there for sure, too. Damn, 2021 was actually a pretty good year, too. Hot damn. Um, 2020. It's so hard to objectively look at this just at a glance. I almost want to make a list of, like, the champions and their relevance... And, like, how many came from a year. But that's way too much effort right now. Because um, at a glance, like, I do see a bunch of champs in here that are like, oh, yeah, those are really good, too. <laughs> maybe maybe it's just my, like, you know, short-term memory bias that's like, yeah, this year has been a really good year. Because looking at this, well, there's still a bunch of duds that I can pick out and be like, eh, maybe this year wasn't anything different than past ones. Ah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, we still have more of this year to go, too, so it would be kind of unfair to even do something like that until the year is over anyway. But. All right, Dragon, thank you very much. Troll the buck. Sam, where's Nightmare? Start a Q match. See movement on the floor. Dragon, don't even... Spot large spider... Fumble AQ match and manage to pause ASAP. Spider moves. Oh, see, that's your problem right there. You can't. You just have to sacrifice. Dragon, you either sacrifice your AQ champion or you sacrifice yourself to that spider. Because I'm sure it scrambled and you have no idea where it went, right? Let me see here. Uh, spider moves, drop large book on intruder. <laughs> then get special three to an AQ. Tragedy. Oh, okay. Okay, so you did sacrifice yourself. <laughs> Uh, well, you're AQ champion, I mean, to save yourself. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. <laughs> oh, man. It had to be done. That special three was a small price to pay for getting to live and not having to burn your entire place down. Uh, Bard, thank you very much for the bucks. I've taken Mystics with Hype in Battlegrounds and just nuked them. Won me so many matches. Interesting. Which mystics in particular have you used them against and why? Uh, so many, you're saying. I feel like I could see it happening sometimes. But the way you're describing it, it's like a normal occurrence. To me, that would be downright terrifying. Because you're automatically feeding them power just from your power gain buff. Not even getting into the fury buffs. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just curious to hear more about the situation. Uh, as someone that plays hype... Uh oh, oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, no. Double neurotoxin. Oh, God. We got to go fast. Oh. 
No! Please! Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, I'm just curious to hear more. Uh, were these... Equal star level fights? Or were you using, like, um, a five star versus a six star or something? Maybe sounded like more than I've had to do? Okay. So not 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 too many then I guess huh? Because yeah, I, on the occasion, sure I could see that, but given um, given given uh, what's it called? Given the chance to take a Mystic with another option, I mean nine times out of ten, if not more, <laughs> maybe nineteen times out of twenty, uh, I'm taking the other option and not going with. Uh, with Hyperion. Uh, but I do agree. Hyperion can fight Mystics. Uh, and in some situations, you will still win fights for sure. Uh, Juan, thank you for the two Saints up, BG. Can you check last, please? Okay. BG, I don't know if you answered this already. Are you going to open some crystals now that we know when Battlegrounds are going to be? Uh, a permanent node, and if so, when? P.S. Keep up the good work. Juan, thank you very much. Um, I will be doing the mass crystal cleanup, but they need to be live in game. Just because we, uh, we have sort of a, a tentative release date here. Hey, sometimes, and I'm not saying that, that MCOC has had any bugs ever in its history, so... This would be a first if it happened. There might be a bug, you know, to, to, to mess up the flawless uh, track record. There could potentially be one single solitary bug that pre um, prevents the mode from releasing on time. Uh, and then, hey, the, the crystal opening is delayed. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I want to see more about, like, I want, I want to be able to, like, you know, in-game see the rewards and the... What do they call the track? The victory track or something like that? The gladiators... No. They couldn't have... They wouldn't use gladiators gauntlet, right? It's too close to Grandmaster's gauntlet. What do they call it? I'll have to go watch that video again, man. <laughs> Dang, dude. I was supposed to make a video on uh, all that stuff, too. <sighs> Guys, why is there why is there not infinite time? It's so stupid. Can someone buff time, please. I need more of it. All right, this special one. Oh, didn't even have to throw a special one. Go rocket. Damn, can I buy a jar of that extra thick sarcasm spread, BG? You can. It comes in this month's uh, MCOC box. That's right. I've collaborated. I've worked on this box with uh, all of the other MCOC YouTubers. And we're going to ship a box to you every month that contains uh, the extra large supply of it that you asked for. This is BG talking about a BG bug. I wasn't talking about any specific bug. I was talking about bugs in general and how MCOC has never had one. But even they. The victory track in Gladiator's Circle, I think. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to find it right now. Sorry if someone put it in the chat. I was trying to look and I may have missed it. Um, let me see here. It's a really good video, by the way. If I can even find it here we go okay uh let's see here battlegrounds 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 I skim through uh Ugh. nope Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so, Victory Track and Gladiator Circuit. Okay, okay. 
Uh, there it is. Dragon, you were so close. You're so very close. After watching Wrexham documentary, I've determined that Rob and Ryan's bromance is the same as yours and Joel's. That's the only thing I got out of watching it. I miss Joel. Are you saying that Joel and I should should buy a um, a sports organization? We're gonna need a lot more money. <laughs> Which I feel like <laughs> I feel like the only one that we could maybe uh, afford to go in on is like the the South Milwaukee foosball. Um group. I don't know. I was trying to think of a cooler name for a group or team, but uh, that's the best I could come up with. I uh, got just sell more drugs to kids. You know what, Simon? Anyway, I want to see that stuff in game. The Hold on a second. Let me, let me pop that sucker back open real quick. Um, Damn it. I lost where I was. I want to see... I want to see this stuff in game, and I want to see, uh, ooh, look at this, Tapa Division. I don't know, I, you know, we, we looked at this stuff, but I didn't really, like, pause on this screen, I don't think. I just looked at these pretty icons. But Tapa Division to see rewards for each tier. So, dude, first thing. Tell me this is what you guys are going to do as soon as you see this. You're going to scroll over to Celestial and just tap on this just to see the juicy rewards. And then you're going to reset your expectations to be like, um, can I get to, let's see, what's like the earliest one? Uh, well, maybe I'll be Uru. Maybe that'll be the, hold on, th tier is three. So as you climb through these tiers, Celestial has the, the most amount of tiers. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, this happens sometimes in games. Um, thinking back to, like, Hearthstone, there was certainly a lot of Legend ranked, but then in other games, uh, of course the highest tier- oh, my head's covering it. Hold on a sec. But then in other games, of course, like, the highest tier has the fewest number of players by far. Um, I wonder how- I wonder how this is all gonna break down. Because, of course, there's- I mean- Actually, now it makes sense. So there's that many tiers. A tier could be like Alliance War, where, you know, rank one is a tier, rank two is a tier, rank three is a tier, top 10 masters is a tier, top 20. So maybe there's smaller sub tiers or whatever. Um, but okay, anyway. Okay, thank you very much for the two saying, hey, BG, just awaken my six star rank three Fury from Abyss. Hot damn. Congrats. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Uh, is that going to be uh, an instant rank for you? Or maybe he's already ranked. Either way, very nice, dude. Okay, thank you very much for the two. Hey, what up, Frojo? Saying you're meant to go through all the ranks and get to Gladiator. I mean, I guess. I'm just saying it doesn't always work like that in games. Uh, it's just intriguing to me. I, uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. So a bar for sale today. We well, could buy that. I'm sure it'd be exactly the same as that show you like. Abby Doe. Um, they set people on fire on that show. I'm not volunteering to be set on fire. I do, however, have some matches. Just saying. Well, now BGs will come out and the bald man will keep putting off the opening and before we know it, it's going to be like the website 2.0. Listen, here's the thing about the website. I've never made a website before. I've opened crystals before. There are many videos of proof of those openings on this very channel. Some of you may have even subscribed after watching those videos, which thank you very much, by the way. But... Hello? But my game is completely frozen. Oh, oh, we're back in. Okay, well, there goes my invisibility. Luckily, we had that, though. Um, <laughs> Jesus, man. But uh, I completely forgot what I was even talking about now. 
Anyway, the point is, I'm going to open the crystals. They will be opened. Cheers? I don't know if anyone ever got sat on fire on Cheers. Can't say I was an avid Cheers watcher, though. Does that mean I can't tank now? Yeah, they're definitely discouraging tanking, <laughs> I would say, which is good. Sad for those that liked to tank, but uh, good for the health of the game. Oh, my God. Stupid Hyperion, stupid can't stun. Get out of here. I mean, yeah, some people won't get through it. Yeah, of course. BG, wow, break. What was your highest arena team placing and your arena team names? Oh, God. Well, my highest team placing was Gladiator. Um, Not rank one Gladiator. Uh, Just Gladiator. However, we, we did have like the... The season after I got Gladiator... Um, I was I was playing uh, Priest Hunter, uh, season three, and then season four, like we were, we very quickly shot up to, um, not exactly the rank one spot, but you know there's just like pages essentially of the leaderboard on like the the BattleNet website or whatever, and um, uh. If we played more, I think we could have actually been number one that season because we were beating the number one team. Um, so I don't know. It's it's potential. I potentially could have like had number one or something like that. I was actually good at that game. <laughs> um, n not not anymore, of course. Uh, now I'm not good at any games, but that was during my prime where uh, I feel like I was actually good at the game. I actually had like a full understanding of everything that was going on and when to do everything that needed to be done and all that. Um, the team names themselves. God, dude, we had so many team names. Big Apple 3AM was one of them because it's a reference to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Super Nintendo. Turtles in Time. Um, Journey to Grandma's Hoose was one of them. Uh, 12-inch <laughs> lobster was one of them because our, our guild name was Lobster. I don't know, man. We had a lot of arena team names because that's that's all me and my friends did. We didn't we didn't do any PVE content. Uh, we didn't we didn't raid. It was all uh, it was all arena all the time. Well, understanding what was going on, impossible. 12 inches at... You know what, Simon? Joke's on you, Kabam. I tank by sucking. Well. I don't hear it either. Wait, what? Is the game sound muted? Hold on. Maybe when it froze? Has, has there been no sound all, all stream? Because they're, the sound on my phone is definitely on. Okay, I'm seeing in the mixer that... I guess the game audio is back now. Was it always? Oh, was it? Was it just recently off? Or was it off all stream? Either way, thank you for letting me know. Uh, a few people, I think, are saying it, so it uh, must be a new thing. I'm sorry, journey to grandma's what? Uh, well, it's journey to grandma's house. I, I don't know how that name came to be, but um, the person we played with had. Uh, a pretty thick accent. One, yeah, the person on that team at least had a pretty thick accent, and uh, it sounded like they were saying "hoose" instead of "house." Uh, so then we just went with it. Little Red Riding Hood. So I mean, something like that. Yeah. DJ, I wanted a five or six star torch, and guess what? I opened only a featured te uh, torch cap. And got five star human torch. Well, all right, Viper, nice. Uh, the last mod said over ten. The last mod, thank you very much. Saying hi, my name Brian Grant, and this is Disney Channel. Oh, well, if this is the Disney Channel, dude, I'm rich. Got that Disney money all of a sudden. 
Hell yeah. This is awesome. This is everything I ever wanted it to be. What do you guys want to buy? I'm thinking boat? Wait. Disney money. I gotta think bigger. I'm thinking plane? Let's get a plane. Actually, they probably don't... <sighs> I mean, we know they, we know, we know Disney's got money, but I wonder, I wonder how uh, generous they are with the people on the actual Disney Channel. Most of them are kids. Those kids probably didn't get paid all that much. I remember Grandma's house in Call of Duty Four. Never really played Call of Duty. Last mod, thank you very much, Saint. Yes, ten mil tabbies. Okay. Uh, yachts, not tabby. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, 10 mil yachts, okay. Got it. Uh, my first alliance by autocorrect called Ultron Horton. We fought Horton in AQ for many years. <laughs> nice, dude. Uh, best thing about kids, they're super easily exploited. I feel bad for those kids, man. Like, I don't know. Some of them, some of them grow up and seem pretty normal, but a lot of them, man. Yeah. But what do you do? Do you just not have kids shows? How do you, I, I mean, maybe there's stricter regulation. I don't know. I don't even know what goes on, of course. I've never made a, a, a any show, let alone a, a Disney show, but it's got to be some way to improve that stuff, huh? Anyway, and the kids are easily replaceable too. Oh, that's true, dude. You know what's funny? Like as a kid, I don't even always register that an actor has been replaced with another one. You know, I still remember. Um, What's it called, man? Uh, Boy Meets World. And they just replaced the little sister who was barely in any episodes anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I remember they replaced, like, the... The, um... You know, the, the, the little sister. I had no idea. I had no idea until I was older, and, and one day I was like... I don't know, man. Let's, let's watch this show again, just to see. Does it hold up today? And sure enough, man, they gave that little sister the boot. Replaced. BG is getting a record? Huh? Goldmine just keeps on giving. What are you taking out of this? How? What did I say that was any bit? You know what? I guess I'll find out. Our government is talking about dropping the age of working to 13. I gotta find those chimney sweeps and start teaching my students... To say governor. What is it now? Um, it's 14 here, I think. I feel like I was ready to start working before I was 14, but I wasn't able to. Then again, I was probably useless because I felt useless at my first job. Um... Not that I necessarily think it's good for like a 13 year old to to work or like a bunch of 13 year olds to work. <laughs> like, I don't know. You probably should focus on uh, being a kid. You only get one shot at it. But I, re I, I mean, I do remember wanting money. I mean, I guess technically I worked before I was 14. It's just 14 was the first time I was employed. Um on the on the government records and all that but like you know i don't know what age i was like mowing lawns and shoveling snow and stuff like that probably ever since i was know, like five not on my own I, I wasn't i wasn't five years old pushing around a lawnmower but like um i remember uh I actually, I mean, I, I remember shoveling snow with, like, my, my dad and my brother, but I don't think that was, like, a, a job sort of thing. I feel like we were just helping out, like, like some, uh, some little old lady on our block or something like that. But I remember 
getting some money for it? I don't know. Anyway, before I was 14, I remember I, I definitely went around like shoveling snow and stuff. Uh, just on my own. Did you see how many rank 3 you have? Uh, I think it's like 21 or something. We counted not too long ago. This is about 21. I'll take another look real quick. East Coast 16, but 18 is when you get the most jobs. Hold on, let me see here. What coast are we talking about? Wait, the last mod. I mean, you sent over USD. You're talking about the US? I mean, I was on the East Coast. I started working when I was 14. Did they change that? Okay, the show is saying East Coast USA, you can do 14 with papers. Yeah, working papers or something. I don't even remember exactly what that all is, but. I had a paper route at 11, but yeah, real job in a supermarket, almost 16. Almost 16? What does that mean? Like 15 and a half? All right, let me see here. Six star, rank three. Why can I? There we go. All right, five, ten, fifteen. So I have I have nineteen rank three, but once we include rank four, yeah, it is twenty one. Twenty one rank three or higher. Machido Brown, silver pound, saying I find abs. Wait, what? Oh God, what is wrong with me today, man? I am illiterate, dude. <laughs> I find ads for uh, burial plots so weird because that is the last thing I need. Okay. You know, I was going to say something really mean about potentially using one of those burial plots, but instead, I'm just going to say Bushido Brown. Embarrassed myself enough with uh, misreading ads as abs. And the thought of being buried with a six pack abs, maybe that you got in eight minutes, eight minute abs. I don't need to insult you anymore for this terrible joke. You still do need to take a lap, however, so boo, dude. Still do that. Your damn burial plot joke. Where are you seeing these ads? The last bot said over another two saying child labor. More like I give my child a favor. Us. Wait, what? Child labor. More like I give my child a favor. Us. You lost me. BG on something. We don't speak off. What? Last mod, you're confusing me with these messages and I'm not entirely sure what they mean. I don't think I'm misreading these ones. But I'm also not understanding. Uh, but thank you very much for the uh, the two super chats, man. The USA. Okay, hold on. Child labor, more like I give my child a favor. USA. I'm still not entirely sure <laughs> I'm following, but thank you nonetheless. I feel like that was one of those things where it was almost like a like a cool little rhyme or a cool little spin on it, but it wasn't quite there maybe. <laughs> that or maybe it's just me. It could just be me. Capitalism pun? Is that what that is? Uh, I remember we are talking about the East Coast and the age requirement for work. Okay. Okay. Well, dude, thank you very much for the, uh, the now 12. I appreciate it, man. You could have seven minutes abs or do four rounds of arena. That's true, dude. Units are forever. Abs are like... 
Man. I think you just convinced me to exercise. <laughs> That's all I gotta do is skip out on four rounds of arena? Alright, fine. I'm gonna start exercising immediately. I've got time for that. Like, instead of exploiting child labor, you're doing them a favor because they get money, I think? Alright, possibly, but we're just gonna move past it. <laughs> hey, Chad, everyone's there. how's everyone doing tonight? What's up, Blizzard? I'm wearing a whole stupid suit and do five-minute bits during the stream while doing MCOC. Uh, on your stream? God, I can't wait to do stand-up nights when I stay. Okay, enjoy those. Uh, I've seen Lefty do, uh, he's got a little stand-up scene. And let me tell you, it's, the jokes are just as bad as when he's telling jokes in here. They're awful. Wait, HyperG, how many rank threes do you have? Wait, is this a repeat message? Didn't I just go look? Was that you that asked before, or am I just that far behind? just died because I'm trying to look up in the chat here. Uh, is that the same message? That couldn't be. Oh, wait. I see now. Where'd that message go? It was J JK Knoxville uh, that asked how many rank 3 I have. Okay. That really tripped me up. Sorry, no, I just joined. No, 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 no worries, man. You don't need to apologize. It just it just really threw me off. Because I looked at your name, and I tried to find, like, a previous message of yours, and I didn't see a previous one. And I was like, wait a minute. I could have sworn I just looked. Am I really losing my mind that hard? <laughs> that I, you know. But no, um, so I have 19 rank 3s, 2 rank 4s. 21 uh, rank 3 or higher total champs. That's what I got. Last mod sent it over another 10. Last mod, thank you, dude. MBG, what do you call a monkey with a banana? A monkey with a banana? Ha ha. Just kidding. But what your thought? And I was making a joke, but the US thing was not meant to be put in there. And love you, my father. Well, first off, That's for the, the banana joke. Terrible. Also, it's all good, man. Sometimes things get lost in the, uh, you know, over, over text. That's what happens over text. Sometimes things get lost. Sometimes things get added. There's typos. It's all good. Um, you still got to take a lap, though, because that joke at the start of this message was terrible. So enjoy your lap. Um, it is nighttime, so be careful out there. You might want to take, uh, a flashlight at least. Maybe something more substantial. It's for protection, depending on where you are. Uh, but enjoy the lap nonetheless. And thank you very much for another 10. Thank you, dude. Uh, is this is why we go to English class, folks. Listen, I slept through English class, and I feel good. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, how to get more points in Arena BG? Well, there's a thing called the Infinite Streak. If you haven't heard of it, uh, I, it's a little bit complicated to explain right at this very moment. But essentially, there's a way to make the arena matches super simple and easy that uh, you can play while not even focusing super hard on the game itself. Um, so the infinite streak is the first thing you need to learn about. The second thing is arena is about speed. So the right masteries will help you uh, speed up each individual fight um, a lot. Make them more enjoyable too because you don't spend much time you know, dealing with the opponent's special abilities, and you just hit really freaking hard. So for that, you want to get, uh, you know, Liquid Courage and Double Edge. 
um, just to speed up and you can get more arena rounds in in the hour versus uh, not having those masteries. Uh, and then I would say third piece of advice is just your, your, you know, the rank of your champions, the higher the rank of your champions, the higher the star level of your champions. Star levels actually give a, um, a higher bonus to the total points you earn. So it's not just the PI of the champion. If you take a five star with the same PI as a six star, um, the six stars will give more points. Technically, that's only in the featured arena right now, but yeah, the same thing is true for every star level. They all have different bonus values, and then the PI of your champion uh, and the PI of the opponent's champion, they kind of add on to those bonus values. So, um, yeah, it just comes in time through having a stronger roster. You don't need to uh, score the highest amount of points for the arenas to be beneficial. If you don't have the right champions to do the infinite streak yet and all that stuff, um, just play what you can. Try not to burn yourself out um, by playing too much, and uh, you'll get rewards for it. Uh, Riley Hayes said it over 15 of the ball Australia bucks. Riley, thank you very much. Saying, hey, ball dude, I just awakened my five star ghost. Nice. What is she good for? Bad champion. Don't play that champion. Stay away. Stay far, far away. Now, ghost is insane. Ghost is one of the strongest champs in the game. Um, she's good for virtually everything. Um, you can find videos. I don't know if you'd necessarily want to at this point go and watch them, but you can actually, um, you know, find videos or streams of like Act 6 Legend runs, Act 7 Legend runs, um, before they removed the Legend system where Ghost was used for the vast majority of the fights. Um, a little bit less in Act 7, but in Act 6, just completely dominant. Um, still very strong to this day, even though nowadays we do have uh, quite a few very powerful champions that, you know, compete with Ghost. Um, but she's just she's just all in, all around insane. Um, she can shrug off any debuff. She can trivialize uh, many nodes in the game, many of the most difficult nodes in the game. And yeah, there's a lot of ghost content out there. It's hard for me to kind of sum up all of her stuff on the spot without any gameplay to kind of back up what I'm saying. But there is an absolute ton. Units again? Is this 225? Dang, dude. I just can't seem to land a 225. I'm still happy with a 75. But, you know. 225 is an extra cav crystal in the cav for mod game. 75 is not. Is this my cue? Are you starting up the stream? Happy do. Hey, Messiah is in here. Hashtag Messiah for God mod. Hashtag uh, the RC woke me up. Oh no, that's. I'm I'm telling you guys. I don't know what's going on today. There's no T in that message. Herc hashtag Herc woke me up. I think I just got to get my eyes checked. Honestly, man. Well, I see it. All right. Anyway, uh, we would have we would have swung out the. I'm ending the stream now. Otherwise, we could have done the game tonight. Yay! It's over. You know what, Clarissa? Um. But yeah, Riley, thank you again for the 15. Tons of ghost content out there. I'd recommend, uh, you know, checking some of it out to see exactly what she's capable of. Last mod, thank you very much for uh, another five as well, saying, I'm back from my lap, and it was very scary. There was a monster named Lapped, and one named Grammar Check, and Grammarly. And now I am scared. You should be, dude. Grammarly is terrifying. The fact that any program could just call you an idiot just because of something you typed or said, and they're like, click here to not be an idiot. And they're like, oh, okay, I'll do that. 
It's it is terrifying, man. That said, this stream is also brought to you by Grammarly now. Um, check the link in the description. Make sure you uh, use Grammarly slash uh, BG for your free trial. <laughs> Thanks to Grammarly for supporting the stream. Oh, man, the last mod you said over another 20. Thank you, man. Say, I love you. I gotta go. Gotta go to bed. Wait, hold on. What is this, dude? Love you. I gotta go to go to bed to bed. I spelled this wrong on purpose, but I have to cover up or Mr. Demon Man will come. Okay, now I'm pretty sure you're talking about the Nightman. And the Nightman cometh. So you should cover up. Uh, dude. No, last mod though, man. Thank you very much. It's a bunch of uh, very generous super chats, man. Thank you. Dude, is that BZ in here? BZ! What's up, man? It's a good to see you, bro. We'll catch up soon. Hell yeah, man. Dude. A wild, a wild killer BZ has appeared. The cap off the night. What a night. Just made the night right there, man. If you guys don't know, Killer BZ is the man. Um, and yeah, dude, I'd love to. But what's up, dude? Hopefully all's well. Um, that said, I'm kind of wrapping up the stream. So uh, before I go, wait, Abby Doe, are you? Oh, it might be live. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Guys, if you care, if you want to continue the party, uh, Abby Doe is live. There are four people in right there, or right now. We need to change that, man. We need to change that immediately. Uh, here's the link to Abby Doe's stream. He looks like me, except... Oh, I don't actually. I don't think we look very much alike at all. Just the just he's wearing one of my bald caps. He's he's he's. Yeah, I pay him a lot of money. The fact that I've been paying him all this time, even though he wasn't streaming, uh, but I still have to pay him for wearing the caps. Like it's about time he got back to work. You know what I mean? So uh, show him a little love. And before I go, shout out to the last mod for being tonight's biggest D. Last mod. Thank you very much. BG Raid, Haley. Uh, BG's twin. Only a little bit. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm out of here now. I will see you guys and tomorrow. Good night, everybody.